have a quick look at our numeric handles my test spreadsheet. So, uh, of course, before making the video, I've loaded the file, so it should all be cached. It's very, very slow to load. That's worst in class performance. Well, it's not the worst in class. I think only Office crashed on all trying to load this test documents, but crashing is definitely the worst in class. This is very slow. It's going to take uh, around a minute or more to open it, I think. Uh, let's open this Excel file, 42 megabytes. Open the original one. And we're off. I'm going to pause it. It's not really good in reading. Oh, we get very little feedback during the opening process. We get here the sheet it's currently reading. Uh, and that's it. Right, it's still going. This is now well over a minute later. It has moved on from the main tab though. So we must be getting to the end. So this took 11 seconds in LibreOffice 7.2 and 15 seconds in my Excel running under Y. That is, um, it's finished, good. Never. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I'm not brilliant with the keyboard shortcuts. So there's no little helper telling me how many rows is selected. Maybe this. this. Okay, I might worry about that. Um, it's the same spreadsheet as before, so there's over 200,000 rows. Now I'm going to do a filter on this column uh, where I can um, just find all cells where the value begins with a three-letter string. Now I'm looking in the user interface, and look, it defeats me where the auto-filter button is. I can't see it. Maybe I'm missing some kind of toolbar. Standard toolbar, oops, about that. So, yeah, no idea where the auto filter button is. Sort, sort, edit, insert a hyperlink, font stuff. I mean, I must be missing something. Who's seen a spreadsheet where you can't see the auto filter button? Uh, what am I missing here? Okay, filter, remove auto filter. Oh. Add auto filter. Uh huh. Okay, so that's just an import bug that didn't handle the Excel um, properly. Okay, so let's filter on here. So there's no, it's a very primitive uh, filter selection here. We don't have the normal uh, options that we see in competing products like the ability to start typing a string what well, we do but i can't select everything so what i want to do is uh, i want to do a custom filter and i want to make it um, begins with gen this is what i want to do and that's an indication there's a filtering okay so i've learned from previous experience that it is basically impossible to select the rows the normal way you do it in Excel. So you shift control down arrow. The keyboard shortcut which works in LibreOffice and WPS Office as well. Because here when I do it, it goes right down to the bottom of the spreadsheet. And using the scrolling is just a terrible experience to try and select the cells I want. I won't go through all that again. It was a waste of time. But what we can do is we can do shift control down on one of the cells in the range. Now, normally, of course, if you want to delete these 60,000 rows, you'd right click in the um, row selector, 
here and select the label rows. But unfortunately with this product, as soon as you right click on a row and to bring up the context menu, the first thing it does is cancel your selection and provide you with uh, one row. So that's no good. So let's repeat that again. And this time I'll find another approach to delete the rows. So go here, delete rows. Now this process should take less than 20 seconds to be sort of in the ballpark of best practice. Let's see how long it takes. Uh, spoiler, I've done this a few times and it's extraordinarily slow with no feedback either. Except my fan kicks in because it's using one of my um, I suppose one of my 16 cores. It's eight cores really, of course, eight times two. It's using one, one core, one eighth of my CPU. So it's a long time doing this in parallel. <coughs> Coming up to a minute. So that's one minute. one and a half minutes. Ah, a little bit less than two minutes seconds for sure I have two minutes so that's bad for me not acceptable all right so now let's undo it come back let me first though copy the filter so Alt down arrow and click all. Hello. Okay. So uh, let's undo that. That's fast. And now, um, I can't undo the row deletion. It's gone. Now, the other option. Strange. I actually have the default undo options. So it doesn't work. It's a serious bug. Not being able to put back rows. Pretty much lost my patience for sure now, but let's push on. So I will um, close the file and ah, didn't expect it to do that. It's actually closed the whole application. Right. Let's open it again so I can do the rest of my testing. Right, spreadsheet testing. The Excel version. I'm going to pause it so we don't have to wait. That's a huge amount of time while it loads. So it's loading. While it's loading, let me see if there is uh, possible in Ubuntu 21.04. I have a very old version. 
of the Merc. Sometimes these things happen. So uh, there was a release in June. So that for sure won't be in. There was a release in March 1.12.49. Although there's really little indication that Numeric is busy loading, except for down here. <coughs> Can't access elements of the UI. When I try and click on it, no one notices that it's not responsive and gives me that warning. Yeah, good. So, about. So, I've got the August 2020 release. Uh, okay, so all my rows are back. So what I did in the past was I selected. So this presumably is meant to tell me how many rows I've got selected. I don't know. But that's some kind of formatting bug, I guess. All right, let's go here now. How do I insert? Right click insert. That's good. Uh, this is not actually what I did in the other spreadsheets. I inserted a whole column, so let's do that. Insert a column. So my CPU has gone to 100% again. So bear in mind that this is essentially near instant operation in Excel running under wine and in LibreOffice and in fact in, in WPS Office as well. I think it's very fast in WPS Office. It's not fast here though. Actually, I've lost my patience at this point. So I'm going to end this review here. This is a moderately complex spreadsheet that you will encounter in corporate life. It's an extract of um, goods movement details from an ERP. A couple of hundred thousand rows. Doesn't have a how does any formulas? There's a few formulas. It's mostly uh, complex, if I can say that, because of the volume of cells. Although honestly, you know, people like me use spreadsheets with a million rows. Sometimes this is small compared to those. Uh, but this product is not coping at all with it. So that's uh, numeric. It hasn't crashed, I'll say that for it.